You know, you come across an app every now and then that really surprises you, especially when it's a free app. And today is no exception because I was exposed to Sonar. Now, Sonar is part of a bigger app from SteelSeries called SteelSeries GG, but this is part of that app that specifically deals with audio processing. And a lot of people have been kind of misrepresenting what it really does because they've been concentrating on the gaming EQ portion of it where it has different settings for specific game profiles and it allows you to hear things that you normally wouldn't hear. Basically, you're EQing out sounds you don't want to hear and you're boosting up sounds in EQ that you do want to hear. There's so much more to this app that I want to go through because I really think it's a game changer for people who want audio mixing on their single PC setup. So let's go ahead and talk about it now. But before we do, let's talk about today's sponsor, Own.TV. Own.TV gives you everything that you need for your live stream, including Dream Deck icons, custom stream overlays, and now you can even make your own emotes using their emote maker. Using their emote maker, you can customize your own character based on your own look and then it'll give you a variety of different emotes that you can add to your account that your viewers can then use in your live stream. So if you want to do that, make sure you click on the link in the description below and use TFS at checkout for an additional 50% off anything that you purchase from own.tv. This is Still Series GG and we are in the Sonar app within this program, which is really nice. And we'll talk about the mixer first here. So your mixer here, of course, you got master volume. And this is going to control all of the volumes coming in your gaming and your chat. Primarily, uh, you have a mute where you can mute the audio right there, which is really nice. Now make sure you set the same monitor output for your playback here, because then you can use this fader here to control the level of each within your head zone. So if you want more gaming audio or if you want more chat, you just use this little slider or it locks in the middle there for equal balance on both of them, which is really nice. Likewise, you could change the level output levels on each of these. Now what these output to are actual virtual devices. So I'll go into sound settings here and we'll go to uh, playback output here and you should see still series gaming and still series chat. These are virtual audio devices that are outputting to Windows that you could then use to send to OBS. If you want to record chat and you want to record game audio, these are devices that you can now set in OBS so you have separate recording track, audio tracks for each of those devices, which is really cool. And the same thing for your audio, for your microphone too. Your microphone is also set up as a virtual device that you can then send that processed audio that we'll talk about here in a second to your Discord, to OBS, whatever program you, that you use your microphone for, including games. Here, this is again, basic mixer here, your microphone here, this is the level of the virtual mic that is outputting. You can see the actual level of the microphone, my raw mic here, which is the Elgato Wave 3. And you can control the level of the actual volume of the microphone or the gain of the microphone right here by just typing in uh, whatever level you want. I currently had it set to 60% and that's where I'm gonna leave it. This is the output level of the virtual mic output. Okay, that's what you control here. All right, so really nice, great little mixer. It would really be nice if they had one more channel for music. Maybe they'll add that in the future. I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, it makes perfect sense to go ahead and add another music channel here. What it does is very nice anyway. All right, so the next tab over, we'll go to gaming. Now gaming here is an equalizer virtual 7.1 surround, and then you have some additional tweaks down here if you want some additional bass boost for cut and gain. You can actually do a general gain boost here if you need extra volume, uh, and you have a smart volume adjustment here. The first thing is the EQ. The EQ here is really neat. Uh, you have different settings here that you can use this equalizer for, including music. You have different game profiles based on the game sounds, and the idea here is that it's going to take away unneeded sounds from the game to give you a tactical advantage so you can hear things like footsteps or uh, say flash flash bangs or anything like that. Any kind of tactical sound is going to let you know where somebody is. That is the idea around this. Now there is some of them that do give you more of an immersive sound. Like GTA 5 for instance has this really big bass boost. Rainbow Six Siege you can see here it cuts out a lot of the bass and gives you a couple really heavy boost in certain areas. I'm sure this is probably footsteps that I'm looking at right here. Uh, maybe some, you know, gun gun sounds, that sort of thing that would help you out. So that's what the EQ is for. You can use that to pretty much do anything you want. And you can actually 
and make your own by adding a new one here, naming it, whatever you want. And then you can have your own profile, which if you know what your headset uh, frequency response is or headphone frequency response, whatever you're using, you can actually tune that using this parametric EQ, which is really cool. And this is 10 bands here. Each of these dots here is customizable. You can adjust here. It gives you a little line that you can see. Let's see if I got this. So this little line here that you see that goes across, that represents your Q band. And you can adjust that by clicking on that and then going here and typing in here. Uh, likewise, I think you, yep, you can just left click and hold that and adjust that too. Uh, which is really cool. And let's see, you can adjust the frequency. You can move the frequency around. So you, you can use your mouse or do manual type in, which is really cool. So again, 7.1 sound, you got performance or immersion. Uh, I've personally seen just kind of leave it in the middle and it works really well. Uh, and of course, these additional options here, which are pretty much self-explanatory. But adjust these as necessary and you can listen to them again. You have gaming sound here. You can play back and play with any of these settings and get it adjusted to your liking, which is really nice. Chat, same thing you have here. Uh, you've got all kinds of different settings for your chat. So if you want to make your friends that are in your Discord or whatever sound more broadcasty, you can do that. you got different profiles here. Again, you can make your own as necessary. You have sample audio here that you can then play and, and then tune as necessary too, which is really neat. And you got options down here for noise reduction, noise gate. Uh, if you got somebody that's got a lot of clicks, you can set a noise gate for them, which is really neat. Compression, again, for you know, decreasing and the dynamic range of a voice. And then impact noise reduction is geared more toward typing on your keyboard, mouse clicks, that sort of thing. Whereas the noise reduction is just general background noise in your room. All right. And lastly, we'll go to microphone, which I think is probably the coolest part of this is because now you can process your microphone and have equalization, noise reduction, gate, volume stabilizer. Again, that's compression, the impact noise reduction. Now, you want to be sparing with the noise reductions because they do hurt your vocal. I have found that they do not sound the best uh, if you start getting up in this range here, but you can use this a little bit to kind of help with background noise. Uh, the impact noise reduction, I didn't think it does, does all that much, but the equalization is really what's nice. And the fact you can go in and set your own EQ uh, is really cool. You don't have to use any of these uh, different uh, you know presets here, which is, which is cool. But this is another really nice thing is you have this mic test where you can record your voice without any of these things turned on. And then once you're done recording, you can then play it back and then add like equalization in, add the noise reduction and see what it's going to sound like. And that's a really cool thing because what you don't want to do is you don't want to try to tune your microphone when you're listening to it actively, your voice, because then you get head, what I call head bass and you get a false sense of how much bass you're actually producing and you might boost or you might cut too much. So it's better to listen to the playback and then adjust that. And I've recorded 20, 30 second clips and I haven't been able to hit a limit. And what it'll do is on the playback, when you get to the end of the clip, it'll just keep replaying it until you hit stop play. So it was really nice, a really neat feature. Uh, Beacon introduced this into their Beacon app uh, recently with their hardware that you can buy. But this is in the software inside of SteelSeries GG, and it works really good. And again, there's no 10-second limit like you have in the Beacon app. So this is a great feature, and, and I think everybody should use this. But this is a powerful little free audio app to process your audio. I mean, you have a basic mixer, kind of like the basic voice meter. Uh, you do have virtual devices that it's producing that you can use inside of OBS or inside of your different softwares. And you have the ability to process your audio and make it sound the way you want, which is a really powerful thing to have in a free app. So definitely this is great for single PC streamers, I think. Uh, to go out there and download this and give it a shot and give, you know, I mean, you got everything that you could possibly want really for tuning your microphone and for mixing general audio. Like I said, though, I would really like to see a third channel added here for music that you can then send to OBS it would really be nice. But other than that, a good job, SteelSeries. You've knocked this one out of the park. It's really a nice 
free program and there's virtually no load added to your PC so you don't see any performance hit. That's another bonus. So anyway, well done uh, SteelSeries for making this app. I'll provide a link down below where you can download this app and give it a shot for yourself. Learn that again. Thank you own.tv for sponsoring this video. Make sure you hit a like. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications. You, you will know when I have a video goes live. Other than that, guys, be safe out there. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.